Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour and if that's something you're interested in following along with please do check out the other content that I've got for you on this channel. It means so much that you're here with me today. Now I have decided this month that I'm going to use some of my personal spending money to put towards some savings challenges and after I bought said savings challenges I then discovered the savings challenge binders the likes of which the wonderful Iris Budgets and Budget With Me 24-7 and Glitzy Budgets and Saving With Anna all create and I'll list all of those shops down in the description below. Some of them might be on a break at the minute but I think they're all worthy of your time and attention. But I'd already bought the savings challenges and I wanted the binders and I'm someone who can't really like you know I'm not that disciplined in terms of just waiting you know once I get an idea I kind of run with it and because I've got all of these new wonderful savings plans that are kind of coming up and I want to get started on it's the brain just went right you let's let's try and do something so I have decided to make my own version of a savings challenge binder that is very much inspired by the aforementioned sellers but not an exact copy or an exact replica because I don't really believe that's a great thing to do as a designer and maker myself so this series of videos is me making my very own savings challenge binder from kind of start to finish now I'm not the best at pre-recording all of the steps I never have been but even as a maker myself when I had to record things like this I was rubbish at making and recording all the steps but I it's just something a little bit different that you guys might like might or not might not like um but yeah let me know what you think this video is going to be the making of and there'll be a separate video with the final product reveal um so that this doesn't run to too long but I will see you all very very soon i hope you enjoy bye bye so when i'm folding and using things like uh, guillotines and laminators i like to be standing so that's why the ironing board which is perpetually up is really a good thing for me to use now these are the marble designs that i've selected and i'm so as i said in the intro really inspired by the work that Iris Budgets has done and Budget With Me 24-7 and so many other fantastic creators uh, budgeting with Anna and while I would love to buy all of them I've already spent some of my spending money on saving challenges this month so I'm going to create my own that is going to be for my use only it's going to suit me with challenge amounts and saving amounts that I like using things that I have already. So I already have Canva so I can download these and I have leftover cardstock type paper and I have a printer with plenty of ink and, you know, laminates and an okay cheapish Wilco's laminator that does the job for me and not the thickest of laminating sheets, I would say, but enough. I've got number stickers that I can use and... I'd already bought a clear um, A6 ring binder for something else actually, which I can use. So I'm really excited to see what comes of this. And these are the colours that I've got. So I've got, this one is actually, the lighting here isn't great. Um, it's a very warm lighting. But we've got this one and all of these. And you can see look, like the printing isn't ideal. You can see the lines cutting through there, but these aren't for commercial sale, they are just for me and I'm happy with them. And I didn't realise that I kind of love and am gravitating towards marble as much as I did. When I started working with things like this on budgeting, I thought I would go for like the really minimal stuff and that's just not the case at all. Um, my desk pad is marble, the things that I've created and printed for myself are marble. Um, the saving challenges that I have bought and looked at, some of them have been marble it features in my budgeting planner. So I didn't know that I would be as in love with marble as much as I was. And that was the one thing actually that I really did find when I was looking at the, um, the other products. I wanted a different marble print. Um, I initially printed it off in paper first, but it's just not thick enough. 
Um, and I need to be excited. Like, we've gone through my plan together. I need to really, really be excited by the, um, the colours and the challenges and have something really unique because the only person that's going to really stop me now from from September onwards really from saving and, and working my hardest is me. So whatever tools I need to put in place and create and make and, and have, um, this is it really. So I don't think I need the full width of this. So I think like, like there's probably definitely going to be maybe at least that much left over, which again is good because maybe I can turn them into some of the little square ones that you've seen me use and then maybe they I can create them for, I don't know, a, a 52 envelope challenge that I may eventually build up to um, nearly at the end of this step. And then this one and then this one. So yeah, so these are all of the marble colours that you're going to see me using. So I'm quite excited. So there's one more actually, which was on the table. Which <laughs> I don't know why that was there. But as you can see, I've actually started measuring out now. And I need a little over half, which is about... So all of the white excess space I'm going to laminate off. So it's about... Six and a half in width and then I don't mind if they're wider than others because the very nature of the amount of money I'm hoping to put in there means that it's going to be <laughs> need to carry quite a lot so it's about six and a half by four inches I think once it's folded and before it's laminated so I'm going to rule off each of these save this excess here because this is still quite thick and then laminate off the white, cut down that line and fold in half. So in a, and I've got to do that for all of those as well. <laughs> a temper tantrum because I won't let him up here as you've probably seen in I'm sure one of many clips that I've recorded I won't let him up here while I'm cutting and so he's just now sitting on the leftover pieces of cardstock and probably creasing them because he's a monkey and he's farted on them as well so this is yeah I'm gonna have to get him off there So it's day two and this is where I'm up to. I have laminated and folded everything. I may not use all of these, I think, 
but I want to get them laminated, cut, hole punched, and then I can just start arranging and playing how I like. And then just a quick happy mouth, well it's not really happy mouth, it's a sneak peek. Um, these are, oh phone is slipping, always good. These are A7, come on, that's better, bear with me guys, there we are. These are A7 little zipper wallets, um, you've seen me use the A6 ones and I do want to look at creating a smaller binder that I can take out with me and I've never worked with the A7 ones before, I've never even seen them. But I, what I thought would initially I'd be able to do is, where I've got this excess, use them as an inner for this. But they only work size-wise if I go that way. And then I can't double fold it over and have it like as a, as a slip. So what I might do is... Do a three inch by three inch square. So do three inch by six inches total and then have these as square envelopes for a 52 envelope challenge because I do have some of those challenges um, but I don't have any envelopes and I've already started to kind of play and create and I don't want to waste these. And then even if there is still a long straight length because the paper cardstock is thicker, that could work. Um, but as you can see here, I've kind of drawn on my measurements um, for these to go through the laminator. So yeah, so I am, I probably went for like five hours, really hardcore from like printing to um, getting them all laminated last night by the time I'd taken into account the fact that it takes longer for it to print and things. And then obviously Bowie was needing some help. So this is where I'm up to and I will see you in the next section. So they are laminated and hole punched and in no particular order back to front these are the patterns. I don't know if I'm going to go with all of these. I have a rough number in mind but I'm definitely someone that likes to, I think I've said previously like group everything together and have like patterns and I didn't realise the marble thing was a thing for me actually until I started doing this budgeting uh thing i guess there's lots of the use of the word thing there um i never thought i would gravitate towards the whole glittery marble aesthetic at all uh, it wasn't something that was on my horizons <laughs> before i started this budgeting channel and now all of a sudden i'm just i think as i've said just it's just appearing everywhere um so i think there are 25 envelopes that I've done I don't think I need 25 envelopes I'm not sure um, I need to check but what I'll also need to do is I'm still I've got to track down the stickers I know where they are they are here somewhere um, but that's probably going to have to be in a part two because I think the rest of this video is going to run to like stupidly long if I don't pardon me put a part two in place and um, Bowie is hassling for dinner. <laughs> now, none of these are perfect. There are printing lines on them that are going vertically. Some of the, most of the laminate has air bubbles in. And I wanted to see actually like how the laminate would do because it's thinner laminate, but this is slightly thicker card paper stock. Um, turns out it's <laughs> like fine for me. This laminate will do um but it's not the thickest i really love this one actually this was a spare of the moment one that i added in um and you know what it's been really nice like you know like that fold line there nothing's these are not perfect but i think for something for me it's been really nice getting my teeth stuck into a creative project again that's just purely for me that it's not something that i have to monetize or design for another person or is for a certain it's just been really really nice to just have an idea and just run with it and see what would happen um and this is by all means not done <laughs> i am still not done with this um 
Let's put that aside. And then that one. And then the last one so far is this one and that one. So <laughs> there's a lot here that I need to arrange but you can check that out in the part two of this video. I'm going to get them all arranged. They've all been hole punched and laminated. As you can see, I've got to select my amounts. I've got to get the stickers in place. I've got to get them in the binder. I've still got to do a front cover, an associated challenge that I want to use for it separately, and then a back cover as well, and then get them all in the... Um, binder so there is going to be a part two which is going to be fantastic and I can't wait for you to check that out with me let me know down in the comments box below what you think and I will see you in the next video bye bye for now